Hello everyone, I'm Paula Gilbert, I'm the editor of Connecting Africa and we're here, it's day one of Africa Tech Festival 2022 in Cape Town and I'm here with Fadi Faroen who is the president of Ericsson Middle East and Africa and he's agreed to answer a few quick questions for me. Nice to see you Fadi, how's it going? Great, thank you Paula, thanks for having me. So um, what is Ericsson presenting this year at the Africa Tech Festival? Well, for sure we need to present uh, parts of our portfolio which we are doing, both in terms of uh, billing, charging, OSS, cloud, and also radio. We are very proud of the radio, which we call 6626, because basically it's a new innovation which is based on the uh, requirements and input that we've received from our African customers here, the CSPs. And it gives you a support to deploy 4G widely in the markets, as we see now a great uptake, while really cutting your power and energy consumption by upwards 50%. And since this radio is covering multiple sectors with two bands, it's basically doing the job of what we previously had to have six radios for. So it's eliminating the amount of hardware that's being put on the tower and also bringing sustainability and cost efficiency from that way. But all of this is just technology and the most important, of course, are the use cases. So if you visit us, you will see tons of demonstrations, both for consumer as well for enterprise, how can they really use this 4G for them to increase productivity or for entertainment purposes or educational ones? And of course, we cannot be at a tech festival, festival without talking about 5G and what it promises to bring to the African continent. That's exactly what I was going to ask you next. So what is happening with the rollout of 5G on the continent and what's next? You know, it's really exciting that uh, we see already operators deploying 5G across several markets here. Uh, most probably the, the, the largest one being Nigeria and South Africa, of course, but also other markets across Africa. And we all understand that when it comes to the device ecosystem, which is promising augmented reality and virtual reality for consumer enterprise alike, it will take a few more years for that to mature and to offer price points that you know affordable for the mainstream users. However, already today, there is one case that makes sense and that is what we call fixed wireless access. So basically the service providers can offer home broadband services, high quality TV channels through these 5G technologies. And that is at a much better you know, price point than having to invest in fiber. So that is really the first step for 5G adoption here in Africa. Okay, well thanks so much. I think we're going to leave it there. Um, we are still here all week at the CTICC in Cape Town, so join us for Africa Tech Festival 2022. We hope to see you soon. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. All the best.